Welcome back, everyone. We are here at the uh, new village that we got to. Already did the ETH right, I believe, right? Don't remember from last time. Yep, okay. So we can go ahead and uh, continue on. Ah, you've come. Welcome, friends, to my village. My home. How fare your people? Good, all things considered. Better than the Ananta at any rate. They've sent an emissary. I'll take you to her. We're here to help. Will you tell us what happened? Aye. It began with a quarrel between the Imperials and the Kaliana. The Kaliana are another Ananta tribe. The strongest and the most influential. Unlike the Vera, they want no part of our troubles. They swore fealty to the Empire and were content to remain within their borders. Just so. The Kaliana forsook their pride and the fight and yielded to Garlemald long ago. But then a new commander was sent to hold the Black Bridge. She demanded the Kaliana surrender a hostage, this butcher. Poor Dola. It doesn't make sense, though. The Vera are the ones working with the Resistance. Why would she threaten the Kaliana? Because she is ignorant like all Imperials. She knows not the difference between Kaliana and Vera, nor does she care to learn. I see. All Fadola knew for sure was that the Resistance would come from the West. She reasoned, therefore, that if the Ananta on the East Bank turned their coats, she would be trapped. I take it the Kaliana had no choice but to oblige her. No, they did not. The Imperials left with the Kaliana broodmother's own daughter, Anamika. Long days and nights she looked out on the Black Bridge weeping for her child. Until you came. The brood mother knew at once which way the winds would blow. She and her warriors met with the fleeing Imperials in the road and demanded that her daughter be returned. Bad idea. Fordola's not the kind to take threats lying down. You know her well. The butcher turned her blade to Anamika and bade the Kaliana move aside. But the brood mother would not yield. I know where this is going. The Kaliana surrounded the Imperials, one of whom, whether out of fear or stupidity, cut the child down. There was naught that could be done. What madness. The true madness was yet to come. For in her despair, the Kaliana broodmother cried out for her daughter to be restored to life. She beseeched Sri Lakshmi's intercession. She summoned a primal then and there? That she did, if only for an instant. Bereft of courage and honor, the broodmother sought solace in her faith. The Imperials fled in terror at the sight of the goddess, abandoning these lands to the Ananta. Now the Kaliana bid us make pilgrimage to pay proper respects. 
Yet though we Vera revere Sri Lakshmi as the holiest of the holy, we will not prostrate ourselves before her. And so you turn to us? I. All who have fought with the Resistance have heard tell of the warrior, the Icon Slayer. I believe we have heard enough. Inconvenient though the timing may be, if a primal has indeed been summoned, we can scarce afford to ignore it. We must needs discuss how best to resolve this situation. Well, primal here and there, huh? Right after you're basically doing a dungeon, that's pretty uh, quick. <laughs> Doman item here. Honestly, I don't understand why it would be a Doman item here. Let's see. Still 276, so. Yeah, it looks like everything's lining up to be 279 here. This entire section's 279. Some of this stuff is still down a bit. But overall, it's still pretty good besides the bracelet. Ahem, at the, there's the risk of swimming hopelessly naive, there may yet be a way to avoid a violent confrontation. In the past, I fear I've been rather too willing to accept that we have no rather recourse than the risk of our lives or rather your life to address these threats. Yet the primals we have faced thus far have demonstrated a variety of temperaments and objectives. Ravana may delight in battle, but Ramoth would sooner keep to the forest with his children. Here we decide to ch challenge Sir Lakshmi. It would seem wise to learn more of her nature from those who summoned her onto this world. If that is your will, then so be it. To the north you'll find our village. Sarashia shall unfold all. If we leave at once, Minago, can you inform our comrades at the bridge of what happened? Of course, be safe, my friends. Probably a detour here and pick up this blue quest real quick. Is there any more besides that here? No, it seems to be just this one. Oh, no, sorry, I was distracted by the grumbling in my stomach. Thanks to the Garlinians, there have been trouble maintaining our food stores. Custom dictates that any food brought back to the village must be distributed, evenly amongst everyone, but there hasn't been much to go around lately. Like, like. Not fear for harassment from the Garlinians, so we can finally start hunting again. There's still too much to do if we're going to replenish our supplies. Any chance you'd be willing to help? Give me back, say, three telecrisias. Be a great help. You'll find them to the north of here, but don't kill them. We need their meat to be fresh as possible when it's put away. When you've worn them down enough, you can stuff them into these bags without much of a fight. Now, I know what you're thinking, but trust me, they'll fit. Stay safe out there. We still have that one that should be here somewhere. Okay, that's pretty far. They are right down here, apparently. Let's go and let my health come back up a little bit from that. A little bit under half, and that should be due.
Hmm, the last one's apparently like way out this way. It's actually, I think, towards the way we were going. Probably just be easier to teleport back at this point. You're back. Did you bring those bags to hand what I think they do? Dicer filled sack, okay. Well, you really did it. Not that I think you even could, mind you. It's just been so long since we've anywhere had the guts to contend with those beasts. You can be sure we'll make good use of them. Their meat for rations is a given, but their horns and bones make good tools, and their hides can be made to make belts and boots. Did you know that Terracorcerians isn't even native to these lands? The Grolinians use them for carrying freights, but the Sods can't keep them under control. A few of them escaped into the wild and started breeding, and here we are. I guess you could say it's a blessing in disguise. If I hadn't brought Talos Greases this year, we'd have one less source of meat and materials for fashioning old tool our tools. Alright, and that uh, brings us up to... Okay, we need two more, so there probably is going to be another one in, in Snake Land when we get over there. Go just repair everything now while we have the chance. There we go. Is that it over there? I'm not quite sure. Actually, I think it is. Okay. Oh, come on. I didn't get that close. No, they're the same level as me, so that's probably why. This battle theme is always a jam, though. I managed to chain it to not even like have the music stop. <laughs> well, that was the way we were supposed to get in, but whatever. Snake Village. We do not often receive guests. What is the purpose of your visit? Greetings to Womet. We are the science of the Seventh Dawn. We come seeking Srasha the Vera. You are, you are Sheesh, are you not? You petition us for aid and succor, and we tend to provide them, but we first must learn more of Shir Sh Lakshmi. We might better understand the nature of the threat she poses to you. Simple request, and one that I shall gladly oblige. In the beginning with Shir Lakshmi, we were created in her image, daughters blessed of your beauty. Her breath became ours, her serenity our solace, there is not she would not give. Mm, Twas the Kulania. Three brothers desire to bring her about her daughter's resurrection when first called forth Seer Lakshmi from the Ether. That being the case, I rather doubt the god goddess will be spoiling for a fight. That would depend. The problem's moments have been colored by the summoner's state of mind, namely that a grieving mother who had just born witnessed her daughter's murder. Though she apparently craved a miracle, she may have also harbored thoughts of vengeance. Moreover, the Kulana's conception of Seer Lakshmi may differ from that of the Vira. This is true. The Vira and the Kulana do indeed regard Lady of Bliss in different ways. To the Vera, Lake Shazimi embodies freedom. She would not suffer her daughters to be bound to another's will. And so we stand with the resistance against the Empire and give our lives for the cause. To Kuala, however, she embodies transcendental beauty, which they strive to create with their craft. A shaped crystal and less art and more ritual. 
a, a sacred duty which each tribute is imbued with a fragment of the soul. The Pyrrhos do not interfere with this holy work, and so the Quilana were content to turn inward and ignore our plight. Until reality inserted itself, and then they summon a primal, a fever dream to soothe their aching hearts. But surely they can see it won't do any good. The Imperials will still rule these lands, something will change. The Anata will, the Quilana bade the Vera make privilege to pay proper expects, remember? Those who do not wish to partake of their primal's bliss will be made to do so. Not while we're around, they won't. Though our beliefs are not the same, we are still kin to the Quilana. Will you help them see reason? Count on us. The other one kind of sounds a bit rough. <laughs> then we shall, for without you we may be powerless to stop them. If we do not act quickly, more lives will be lost, more families torn apart, more children made to suffer. It's settled. We're going to find that primal and put an end to this. My sister Viaja will guide you to Dungeon at Quat, and I shall pray for your success. Alrighty. Well met, Science. I am Viagra, she who signs bright and unbroken. I stand ready. We leave upon your command. Any balloons here? Yes, there is. Oh, we got some earrings here. You're ready. Hmm, you look ready. You're Jenna Quad. You'll find that Quad. Find the Kawana's crystals and cheer like Shimi. Follow me. First, we're going to go ahead and grab that blue quest and get that done, and then we won't have to worry about any more in the zone. Let me see where that was again. Okay, it's away that in that way. Okay. I know I saw it down this way. Yep, there it is. Okay. Adventure, I'd ask you a favor of you. In recent days, strange men have been stealing prey for our hunting grounds. They appear to be ala, ala, alamigans, but they do not recognize as allies. They refuse to listen when we explain they are trespassing. If they were to see another strider in our company, they may not be so quick to fight and flee. They are less spotted to the east of here. Please go and speak with them before anyone comes to harm. It looks like we're heading that way. Where are we heading? Apparently pretty far. <laughs> I don't think my Yol still has a, has a speed boost yet either. Okay, I've got a purple fight over here. Oh, they realized it.
Please wait, if you listen for just a moment. Ah, keep that thing away from me. I feel they'll not listen to anything I have to say. Would you go after him and explain his people are trespassing? I must tend to my wounds. Ah, there he is. You, you weren't trying to help that, that thing, weren't you? What do you want? They only want us to leave their hunting grounds, so they're not savage monsters looking to feast on our innards. I see. Hmm. Sorry about before. It's not every day you see something like that where I come from. Me and my friends are from a small village in the peaks, you see. With the Garlanians blocking all ways in and out of the place, we never traveled far. Eh, they're mostly gone, though. We thought we'd have a look about. Maybe scavenge for food a bit. We didn't mean no harm, honest. If it's all the same to you, we'll go leave and go look for food somewhere far, far away from here. Well, that ended pretty, uh, easily. Where I like the all the Kulanians are, like I think it must be. So you have to go through like that entire area to get up there. <laughs> okay. In the last uh, uh, zone, the current, not the quest one, is probably in there somewhere too. Kind of reminds me of the uh, way to get to Ifrit, when there was just an entire, like, army you had to go through. Return where they're willing to listen. Men from the peaks, interesting. We pretend the M tribe may have coerced them into stealing from our land. My sisters will really need to hear this. These people are desperate enough to venture here for food. Perhaps we can help them and deal of some kind. Share for food stores in exchange for materials for our gem crafting. Yes, that would be a fair trade. I need to discuss this with my sisters. The beginning of a fruitful partnership may be at hand. There we go. Yes, I do believe. We just have to collect that one green one, yeah. Because the last yellow one is always, like, one of the last quests of the zone. I think it's just to make sure you can't actually, like, fly anywhere you're not supposed to. But yeah, I think that spot we saw earlier was probably the way through. And it's just basically a really roundabout way of getting over there. everything is on a cliffside otherwise. Yeah, I want to see it's off this way. I can't quite remember. It was like along the side here that I remember seeing it. Ranger here. I think I may have went a little too uh, off the way here, actually.
I have to go further north and take that way. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. Should be getting close to it now. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Pretty sure this is the entrance we have to go through. That's by the primal at this point. heading north, so we're on the right direction. Yeah, we'll go ahead and fight this one. Give myself a little bit of time to refresh my sprint. Onward. Very close. There it is. I don't like that drop. There we go, there. That's all green ones. Nothing left. Okay. So we're all good then. We don't have to worry about it in the zone anymore. Okay, I'm thinking this is the correct way, anyways, up this way. Let's go ahead and just sprint our way back up. <laughs> I really don't need a leveling or anything to fight these guys, so honestly, I'm trying to just kind of run my way through, now that we don't have anything to uh, worry about. I guess we're finally inside. I think we went the wrong way, though. I think this is the way we were supposed to, like... Shoot, I'm pretty sure we did something wrong here.
like we need to maybe go that way, I think. Is this like a second, like, entrance area that we could have gone through or not gone through the front? <laughs> like, wow, okay. Jijanaquat, the path leads to the entrance above. Thin is an etherite, you must use it to enter. Understood, of me, everyone. Alright. We know exactly where to go now, so... I guess we're gonna see this up front before we have to fight it. <laughs> or maybe we'll get lucky and this will be one of the ones that we don't have to fight. Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. Flesh sundered hath been made whole. Blood spilt runneth through her veins. Breath stolen filleth her breast. But she hears not her mother's words, nor sees her mother's face. She... she is silent. And empty. Only the vessel may be remade. Not so the flame which flickered within. Her soul hath been scattered to the four winds. Now do you see her promises for what they are? Alize, have you gone mad? Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and watch yet another tragedy unfold. Who intrudes upon this sacred ground? Imperials, thirsting for blood! No! We come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. A worm-eaten heart may find peace and serenity in service, in beauty and grace. This had ever been my promise. Naught else. You tempt them with visions of things that can never be and leave them bereft and wanting. 
No illusion, however sweet, can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. For every prayer that primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. She's wrong! We hate the Empire as much as you, if you just listen! Poor misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this cruel and misshapen world. Come, bask in my radiance. Let it fill your hearts and free you from your burdens. Abide in misery then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing. Leave these lands and my dreamers be. I will not warn you a second time. I know, I know. It was stupid and foolish, but I had to try, Narn. I had to. Had to try, and I failed. So you have to fight. There's no other way. Never stop trying. It means a lot to hear you say that. It does. But it doesn't make it any easier to have to ask you to face that thing. We could deal with it which is within our power. At least Alpha and I will go and seize those crystal stores. This will not happen again. And you, when it's finished, we'll be waiting for you. Pretty interesting little cavern they have here. I guess it's because of all the uh, crystal cutting they're doing. It's filled with crystals. And the primal. Probably the primal as well. But yeah, next time we're going to go ahead and fight uh, this new primal here that just kind of popped up uh, very quickly on us. So I'll see you guys next time. So see that.